Come on in. So moving on with Bentley, looking at the jumping up, it, it's an issue. He likes to jump up like so. He likes to jump up because what he's done is realised that that's what's going to get him an interaction. Difference between a good interaction and a bad interaction is somebody may go, oh, I love it when you jump up. At me. Yes, and there'll be big cuddles and all that kind of stuff. However, a bad interaction will be, Bentley, I'm in my best Friday night suit. I'm just about to take the wife out for dinner and you've just jumped all over me. He does not know the difference between a good interaction and a bad interaction. Notice I'm not saying a positive interaction or a negative interaction because going down that scientific rabbit warren of evidence-based dog training, positive means to add something into your the training element of whatever you're doing and negative means to take something away or remove something. Okay, Google the four quadrants of dog training. It's a minefield. I'm not going to go into it because it can be quite confusing. So if you want to learn about more scientific-based and evidence-based dog training, Google four quadrants of dog training and it will teach you all about it there. Okay. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's effective with some dogs. Sometimes it's not effective with some dogs. As I always say, train how you want to train to get the right result at the end of the day. Anyway, right, we are looking at this jumping up. So, number of things that we can do to stop it from happening. Okay, Bentley, come on in. We can claim that space and give him a job to do. Good boy. So, if, I, if I'm calling him towards me, go. I'm going to step into him, claim the distance and claim the space. But you see how I'm forcing him back? Sit. Good boy. That's what gets you the reward. Not jumping up at me and putting your feet on my paws. And this isn't gun dog related, guys. This has nothing to do with gun dog training. This is basic, fundamental foundations of any dog training. All dogs jump up if they're allowed to do so. So what we can do is we can change that habit by giving him a job to do. Little bit of timing going on here when you call the dog to you. Bentley, here, come on, sit. Instantly, good. I'm giving him a job to do to break into that habit of jumping. If he does that job effectively and correctly, he doesn't jump, which is great, but more importantly, he gets rewarded for one, not jumping, and two, sitting doing the command effectively so number one thing really is giving something else to think about if he's returning or he's a lack of patience or all of that kind of stuff uh give him a job to do sit good wait a number of seconds to promote that focus promote that eye contact promote that engagement and there's a reward good also as i've mentioned before be careful about reward placement if you hold that treat too high He's going to try and jump and get it. So always put food in your dog's mouth lower than their head. So they're not having to jump up to get it. They're lowering their head to get it. So little tip number one, give them a job to do on the return or if they are in an excited state to stop that jumping up. That's it. Good boy. Another thing that you can do is dogs only jump to us if they've got the space to do it. Yeah. So if a dog is approaching us and we stand still, we're giving them all of this space between us and them to launch, theoretically. So what we could do is we could close that space down and command it. So we're alleviating the, the option for the dog to jump. Once the dog sits, because it doesn't have the space to move into to be able to launch itself, then we can reward the dog. Another thing that we can do is throw a, a treat or... Uh, an allocated amount of the dog's food allowance over the dog's head. So when the dog is approaching us and you're anticipating the dog to start jumping up, we can go over the dog's head like so, which theoretically means that the, the positivity is behind the dog, not to keep coming in front of us. Bentley, come. Sit. Good. Okay. Don't need to do it with him because me giving him something else to think about has been effective. So I don't need to do it with him, but if the dog is returning to you at speed and you're anticipating, you can clearly see the dog is just about to launch itself at you, throw something positive behind it or pleasurable, a bit of food, something behind the dog to turn it on its heels and then go back. 
then you can continue to claim the space and then when it does return give the dog a job blah 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 another thing you can do is place your knee up in the air we are not 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 kneeing dogs in the face we are never ever are not going to do that however what we are going to do is put that in the dog's vision so that it uh, breaks the habit again or add something visual which makes it a little bit more difficult for the dog to put the paws on nice flat surface here come on jump up at me it's lovely great 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 if i do that then it breaks that visual uh, sight picture so to speak so it's not making it as comfortable and easy for the dog to jump up at us now everyone says we'll just walk away just turn around and walk away but if the habit is that bad the dog is just going to follow you and continue to jump up at your back so we train for reality we train for real life situations and we try and leave the google uh, remedies to uh to the to the google site themselves because some are great but some aren't that great to be honest however sit this is working for you it's working for me so let's stick with it but the point is if that didn't work we've got three or four other techniques or three or four other skills within our armory that we can get this little dog not jumping up anymore with a positive good spoke about positive earlier with a good outcome that he's only ever getting reward and pleasure is it good and nice things when he's not jumping when he's jumping we're doing something to combat that behavior giving him a job making him think about something else claiming the space so he can't jump into it at us throwing something over his head so we're, we're teaching him that coming to us at speed and jumping up is not the right thing to do good boy so there's a number of different things come on here a number of different things that we can do to stop dogs from jumping up but the underlying thing is if he's not jumping up reward him if he's jumping up do something to break that pattern of behavior heel sit good boy good lad you're all right mate aren't you lack of patience that's what that was so we waited there for lack of patience so i ignored that behavior step back into it reward for not jumping good boy Ha, you'll be fine, mate.